Hey, what's up, y'all? Kenzo is back for more of The Witcher 2, getting towards the end of Chapter 2. So, um, this should be actually the end of Chapter 2, and, uh, show you what happens there. So, um, there, there's a lot of dialogue in this. I don't recall fighting too much, but let me show you what happens. Here we go. Triss has sniffed something out. Apparently, there are prisoners on the barge in the port. Squirrels, no less. Zoltan, I need to ask you a favor. Shoot. I heard you know the local Squiatel. You heard? Meaning some goat's ass in a helmet hollered it out in the market square. I need some way to get to this Jorvik. You know, I don't want you thinking I'm all chummy with the Squiatel. And Jorvik detests me. Why would you want to see him anyway? He knows where the Kingslayer is. Jorvik? And here I always thought him a common thug. All right. No reason to sit on our arses. Come on. You can tell me everything on the way. Lead on, Zoltan. Tell me, who said I have contacts with the Scoyatel? There we go. What? That's why he wanted to hang you? For making deals with the squirrels? What? I met a few, yes, but made no fucking deals. What about their leader? They say you're best mad, but the Scoia Teller at his beck and call. Sword knows what he wants. Hope he'll tell me what it is. Tell you what, of two evils, Lorido is the bigger. I was like, is he gonna leave? Like, well, what is happening? Oh, is this blacksmith dude here? It is not. Damn it. Oh, damn it. Dude, are... Run, run, you stumpy little motherfucker. Go, go, go. We need to go deeper into the forest. I hope they didn't change the password. Do you know their password? What are you playing at, Zoltan? Get up! Come on! All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, calm down. All right. The Scoyatel asked me to command the leader. No wonder Lurido wanted you hanged. <laughs> they may have asked, but I didn't accept the fucking offer. This is it. I was due to meet them here. I know. They're aiming arrows at us. What? Geralt, I know full well you're always vigilant, but quit poking fun at me. Give them the password. What them? Hurry up, they're edgy. Kierkegaard! Stop bawling. What do you want? Countersign. Heidegger. I asked you a question. Take us to Jorvik. Why? If we wanted to speak with you, we wouldn't ask for your leader. Jorvik won't talk with you. You don't know that. Leave while you're still able. The two of you won't scare us off. There are four more in that tree. How do you know? I can hear them breathing. One's sick. We're on fist tech. How? He's wheezing. What? You elven cocks gone soft? We just want to talk to Jorvik. Wait at the clearing. The dwarf knows where. We'll let Jorvik know. Make sure you do. Come on, Geralt. I know what those elven cocks have planned. Head there at once. Come on!
thought I was just here, wasn't I? And there's like a bridge that doesn't work. That clearing is a monster's lair. Huge horse son with a shell on its back. And Ericus in these parts? I thought that was impossible. Oh, they fixed it. I don't know this. We're here. That creature prowls down there. Right where we're supposed to meet Yorvith. Exactly. Any ideas? I last fought an Ericus some time ago. I never had the swiping pleasure. Not that I mind. Wait here. What are you? Think me a limp prick? Let's just go kill it. No biggie. Where is it? This is the place the elves mentioned. That thing approached us as no elf. I'll leave it to you, girl. Monsters are not my speciality. Ah, this thing ain't. <clears throat> you ain't no big deal. Was there another one? <laughs> I may have a different opinion if more show up. show Gwynblade but tell me was it worth it an uneven fight and certain death await you anyway I could ask you the same thing what do you want fat gun speak quickly before I kill you both let Sultan go Yorvith you have me I have you both a witcher apparently seeking an ugly death and a dwarven traitor spitting on the honor of his folk. You know what I spit on, you debit? On you, bloody squirts, riffraff, killing innocent men. Innocent men? So agitated when you shout that, it's even funny. I want the Kingslayer, Letho, the man whose crimes I'm accused of. If you hadn't become Foltest Lackey, you wouldn't have been there when he was murdered. Do you really expect me to betray a useful ally? Letho betrayed you. He wanted to make a deal with your comrade, Kirin. Kirin F. Esnilin is dead. Two weeks ago, his warriors were ambushed and killed. You should invent better lies, Gwynblade. He's on the barge, wounded but alive. He turned Letho down, and his unit paid the ultimate price. If you speak the truth, Letha will die. But words alone are not enough. You attack and murder the people of Flotsam, forgetting that elves and dwarves live among them. That's no life. They've been stripped of self-respect, forced to live and die by human laws. They're more Dwan than you, Geralt. You still trust this assassin? You may be lying. If I'm lying, so did Kieran. We'll investigate it for his sake. We shall see how Letho reacts to your sensational news. Where is he? The ruins of Kelmawed. For some reason, he likes the place. My unit will cover us. Ready? So the hired assassin turned out to be a traitor. It's his word against yours. For now, why do you trust him? Because he's a Dwan who agreed to do shady work for you? He did what had to be done. He proved nobody's untouchable. What's your angle, Yorbeth? You wouldn't understand. Hiding in woods, killing berry pickers, eating roots. 
We live by our own rules, doing what's necessary to attain our goal. What is your goal? What's it to you, Geralt? Esser Fatgen, you tell me to stuff it up my ass. Not everything deserves that fate. My life now depends on your whim, so I'm curious. Then listen well. The two dead kings were whoresons who damned their own children to stay in power. But in the East, there's someone truly deserving of a crown. Why did you want Foltest dead? He might have appeared charming, but in reality, he allowed the elder races in Temeria to be oppressed. He was like old Dwan, but his death has more significance. We need to go. We need a ruse. Tell Letho you've captured me and want to hand me over to him. And you? I'll be unarmed, hands bound. If you're not lying, his reaction will confirm it. I don't trust you, of course. My warriors will cover us if you try anything stupid. I get it. I don't think so. Do anything stupid and they'll tie you down on an anthill, face coated with honey. You'll scream so loud even the storm riders will hear you. Are you always so grandiose? We could just tell Letho to own up. I'd fail men here yet then better. Conquer with courage rather than strength. Exactly. Let's go. Be careful, Letho is incredibly quick. Geralt of Rivia, what's the meaning of this? I'm here to negotiate. Ah, you're there. The woodland fox caught at last. I underestimated you. Who are you? You really don't remember? I'm sick of that question. So it's true. And here I feared that you would ruin it all. I am Letho of Gullet. I'm a Kingslayer. Joke's over. Unbind me. Uh, I, uh, I guess I'll just ask I random stuff. Human was doing among the Squiatel. My enemy's enemy is my friend. Know the saying? The Squiatel are my brothers in vengeance. Kieran F. Esnerin told me you want to eliminate Yorbith. Even if I do, why would you help me? Bled at one. Demavend? Foltest? Who else? Who the hell are you? We've met Geralt. Do you remember? No. I'll never forget it. You saved my life. White Wolf. We fought side by side. Now we'll cross blades. This wouldn't be necessary if I'd killed Yorveth first. Seret and orcs will drown in their own blood. Oh, I don't think so. My men will finish their task long before the Scoyatel in the Ponto Valley realize you're dead. I wondered what a human was doing among the Scoyatel. My enemy's enemy. Oh, oh shit. Seret and orcs. Who are they? Kingslayers the Scoyatal are assisting in the Pontar Valley, in Upper Edern. This doesn't need to end in blood. Tell me everything. Enough of this farce! Bedrai Enrei! What game are you playing? Such a pity we're on opposite sides. I see 
you still know how to fight? Why do you hound me? They think I killed Zoltan. It's your own fault for playing soldier boy. Why would a witcher kill kings? I'm a witcher no more. That was long ago. So you're a higher cover. Congratulations. Ah, get wrecked. Get stun locked. Should have surrendered when you could. You fight well. But you were bad dogs. The muscles were not. One thing the wild man couldn't take. A witcher and a few elves are enough to kill a king? You've no idea how many people were eager to help us. You really think they will all keep quiet? Your best time is running out. The others will be judged and condemned for sowing chaos. So, why? You were one of us, Geralt. You saved us. Now we're even. Your witch is good with magic. Think she'll be able to teleport me to Edirn. If she behaves, I won't harm her. I'll find you. See you in Edirn, then. Where's Roach? We killed a few of his men. The rest ran. Is Leto dead? On his way to Flotsam. How do you know? He wants to find Triss. Kill him. Before he contacts the others. You shouldn't have trusted the Duan. Let's go. We can't go there, Geralt. The garrison. Of course. I forgot what kind of warriors you are. Nesteda, Gwynblade. Good luck. Um, okay. Alright, I hope these homies don't, like, attack me, because I, I gave that dude his sword. Bloody hell. My heart almost stopped. And where is Triss? Oh. Uh, is it going to trigger our cut trigger our cutscenes as soon as I go in here? Finally, we'll show the non-human rabble their place. Uh-oh. Too good to you. Fattened yourselves on our toil. Um, could you stop doing that? Look, lads, another freak. What do you want? Leave the dwarf alone. He's done you no harm. Right, he's our neighbor. We best go home, folks. Take that Jedi mind trick. Thanks, Witcher. If not for you, I'd be a dead dwarf. Aye, the humans have gone mad. You're welcome. Well, mm. you're killing innocents. Innocents. Geralt and. So what'll it be, innkeeper? They killed my son. Damned elves. I want their blood for that. These elves had nothing to do with your son's death. Don't shed their blood. Now that you mention it, yeah, leave them be. Go home, folks. Thank you, Gwynblade. We'd be dead if not for you. The sooner we flee, the better. Take care. Who opened the gates of hell? I don't have any proof, but my coin's on Lorito. Rulers are always looking for a way to cover their mistakes and failures. And the mob always loves a circus, whether merry or bloody. This town will never be the same. A time of disdain has come. 
We need to find Triss. Last I saw her, she was on her way to meet Sheila in her rented quarters at the inn. I told Triss about the megascope Zoltan's been building. How did the rioting start? They say it's revenge for those soldiers who died following Roach. But they were just thugs on Lorito's pay. Almost no one misses them. Spontaneous riot my ass. Lorito's staying out of it, keeping his hands clean. But his thugs are inciting the mob. I've seen several soldiers in civilian garb leading it. But you won't find any proof against the Commandant. I don't intend to. Why don't the guards do anything? Why would they? The squirrels slaughtered their cronies, and Lorito hasn't given them any orders. Let's go. There's no time to lose. I was lucky enough to get the key to Sheila's nest. Incidentally, for a big woman, the innkeeper's wife is surprisingly nimble. Come on! Hey, leave the homie alone. Death to the humans! What sort of freak is that? It's that sorcerer. Leave them alone. They've done you no harm. Right, they're our neighbors. Let's go over. Oh, Thank you. I just about felt the blades chill between my ribs. Done them no harm. Why are they so? The mobs always need a scapegoat after them. Take care of yourselves. The trading post is still for them. Alright. If y'all are quite done, uh. murdering people for no reason. Agree. They're really showing those like bloody non-humans. Or they could keep the eye. What's the hurry? Okay. Anyway. Jesus up there, right? Broke the thingy. Not good. Don't just stand there. We need to look for clues. Uh oh. Sheila's bodyguard. His neck's broken. No wounds. But that's not his gun. Triss enters, breaks the guard's neck, then wounds herself? That's stupid. Somebody had a good time in here. Trashed everything. I don't get it. Someone else had to be here. Dandelion, look. What is it? A peephole. Someone might have been spying. The brothel's behind that wall. Maybe the madam saw what happened. Let's go. Who said that? What the fuck? Come back later. We're closed. They've killed one of my girls. It's Deride, Geralt. That was her room. What happened? They murdered her. Yesterday, they loved her, drank wine with her, told her she's pretty. Today, five of them came, drunk on blood, screaming filth. She had a client at the time? No. She was with me. What are you looking at? I was consoling her. I was hoping you knew what happened in the next room. I noticed a peephole. But if you were busy... We were. Until we heard voices beyond the wall. Sheila normally cast spells that blocked both sight and sound. But there was nothing like that this time. We started peeping. Me first. I saw that redhead, Triss Marigold, and Cedric, our drunkard ex-squirrel. The redhead approached the magic mirror and said, let's see who our ice queen's been talking to recently. She meant Sheila. 
Even I figured that out. She waved her hands, shouted an incantation, and a man appeared in the room, mighty ugly. Darai was so scared, she squealed. When I finally got Darai out of the way, a different figure was in the room, a woman Triss called Philippa. Greetings, Philippa. Triss, you're looking nice. Why are you using Sheila's megascope? I can't believe she approved it. That's like using her toothbrush. Sheila's oblivious to it. What did Sheila want from you? Isn't it obvious? Two northern rulers have perished. We've been thinking on the... Tamaria is in chaos and I lost my position. There goes the effort we put into building peace. What's your intention? What has the Lodge decided? I mean, it was created to protect the interests of magic. We'll adjust to the new order and make use of this situation. Five years of my work wasted? The peace of Sintra hangs by a thread and Tamaria will plunge into civil war any day now. There's nothing to use. We need to find those responsible and dispense justice. Calm down. Two things should be partaken cold. Sorrel soup and politics. Calculate and don't let your emotions lead you. We can't resurrect Foltest, so stop playing the Avenger. We'll proceed wisely and deliberately. We'll use the situation, understand? At least help me clear the Witcher's name. Triss, stop thinking with your vagina and get a hold of yourself. The Witcher will manage. Do you think the girl... Saskia the Dragon Slayer? Legend has it she killed a dragon. Can she oppose Hansel's might? It won't be easy, but she's already accomplished miracles. So war is inevitable. Henselt can't be reasoned with. Why did Sheila come to Flotsam? It's a delicate matter. We need someone at Henselt's court, but he hates sorceresses. I know. Henselt's only son died in a hunting accident three years ago. The king has failed to sire more offspring, in spite of trying incessantly. Sheila claims she can heal the king's faulty apparatus but needs very rare ingredients. Which she intends to harvest from the K-Ring. Exactly. This way a sorceress will have the king's ear again. That's all I know, really. What happened to Triss? I don't know. I already told you about the only conversation I heard. Just before those murderers came, they kicked me and stabbed her eye. But I heard fighting from the other room. The sorceress was screaming when the murderers left, searching for other victims, appeared outside. Thought I saw Cedric sneaking through the alleys towards the forest. He was staggering. Thank you, Margot. I owe you. Witcher, wait. Give this to Yorveth. A letter? The names of Darai's killers. He'll understand. You're spying for Yorveth? I help him from time to time. Just give him the letter. I'll try, but I can't promise anything. Dandelion, wait here for me. I'm going to find Cedric. Cedric's blood. I just need to follow it. Ah, uh, okay. The trail of blood that was outside? The blood's like three dimensional. Look, it's like it's like floating off the stairs. Alright, well anyway, um Yeah, I, I feel like I'm gonna have a really hard time with this quest because seeing that shade of color is really hard for me. Can I, can I do this and cheat a little bit? Oh, I can't. Oh, thank God. Okay, so he went this way. Oops. Uh, 
Oh, yikes. Uh... Well, Cedric, where are you? Oh, -ho. I'll be down. Yeah, I guess I'll drink some cat's potion because I feel like this is going to be really difficult because these glowy things, the clues, I'm so colorblind, it's hard for me to see them. So let's uh, let's give her a spin. Wait, it, is this one that makes that annoying harpy noise? Dum, 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 dum. It is. Oh yeah, this makes it hella easy. Yeah. Oh. Colorblind or not, I can see this. Oh yeah, I, I don't think I, I could have done this <laughs> without this potion. Oh, here's this uh, last nest I need. Perfect. There's like a big pile of blood right here. Mill, Gwynblade. I no longer feel the pain. Always wanted to die among trees. Cedric, what happened? Triss asked me for help. I killed the Dwan guarding the door, and we broke in. Again, I killed a Dwan. I know. Where's Triss? A Witcher came in, attacked us. I tried to protect Triss. He was fast. Too fast for me. He hit Triss before she could cast a spell. He knew how to fight a sorceress. Then he ordered her to activate the Megascope. He needed to get to Eden, near the dwarven town of Bergen. Triss said it was madness, but she didn't have the coordinates. He gave her a strange look, threatening. Better give it your best. You're going first, with me right behind you. Th then I passed out. 
But I was... They were gone. I knew I was dying. The forest called me. Why, Cedric? Why did you get involved? Why did you? Sometimes we must. Have I told you about my visions? That's why I drink. It helps. I'm safe in a mist of vodka. See nothing, feel nothing. Cedric, calm down. But now I see clearly. You need to regain your memory. Only then will you understand who's killing crowned Dwan. And why. How can I get it back? In Edo. In a place tainted with dark magic. Where ghosts of the fallen will fight a great battle. Save their souls. And your memory will return. Feel a presence. They come to bid you farewell. My forest. The fame will be great. Farewell. Geralt, where have you been? The Kingslayer, damn it. I almost had him. He fled. Teleported to Edo. What? How? He forced Triss to cast the spell. Shit. Roach sent me to find you. We're setting off. He's learned something new. The Skoyatel are also up to something big. What's Roach planning? He went off on Lorito, so it must concern the Commandant. It's something important. What are the Skoyatel planning? They want to storm the barge, and they need your help. When did you join the Squiretel, Zoltan? It's not like that. They're taking the prisoners to Drakenburg. A special prison for non-humans. Bloody monument to human hatred. I'll talk to them. Maybe Roach or the Squiretel can finally be useful. Alrighty. Okay, let, let's see if his armor is any good. Uh, let's see here. Um, oh yeah. It's definitely, it's objectively better than what, what I've got, so bam. Reinforced boots. Bam. Okay. Oh, this is gonna like that armor I had when I first started the game with that weird little uh, thing at the top. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Uh, is this little blacksmith dude still here? I don't know. He is very gone. I don't know. Should we just walk up and ask him like that? Take a good look at him. Ha! Greetings, a word if you will. You see, we've created an alchemical substance and we wish to test it in Vizima in a laboratory. Seeing as you're a witcher, we wonder if you'd be willing to test it in practice. In a year or two, given the occasion, you could visit us in Vizima. We'd examine you and reward you generously. We need to study its long-term effects. We can't say more. Are you in? Why not? Splendid! Excellent! Now, if you could also keep a journal of the experiment. Don't overdo it. Vernon's Watch yourself, Geralt. Ah! <sighs> what are you staring at? 
Your mask is stupid looking. Yeah. Hey, girl. Roach, things have gotten a little more complicated. What the fuck were you doing with the square tell? You gave Yorveth a sword. You followed me? I've got others who do that for me, Geralt. Vess, to be exact. Yorveth knows a lot about the Kingslayer, and they no longer see eye to eye. He could lead us to him. The only journey I'll make with Yorveth in tow is to the scaffold in Vizima's marketplace. The Kingslayer fled to Vergen in Edirn. He forced Triss to teleport them both. Damn, he's made a mockery of us! If that's how he wants to play, I'll make him regret it. Flotsam's ablaze. How did it start? When Vess reported you'd met with Yorveth, I ordered Lurido to provide us with backup. The incompetent oafs were supposed to wait for a signal. But the crossbowmen were twitchy. We surprised them, but Yorveth, the Skoyatel, gave us hell. We barely escaped alive. Many of my men are wounded, but Lurido's people... When news that elves massacred a dozen soldiers hit the trading post, two of the soldiers' fathers decided to take it out on an elven girl. You can imagine what happened next. Yeah, terrible things. I heard you have news for me. Lorido has a deal with Kedwin. That merchant living in his house is Hensel's agent. For a pouch of gold, the good commandant promised to support Kedwini troops in the event of a conflict. So what now? I want that spy to squeeze him for information. And I've sentenced Commandant Lorido to death. Roach, we have to sail. We need to get to Edirn. I'm not leaving until I deal with Lorido. The spy may know something about the Kingslayers. I wouldn't be surprised if Henselt of Kedwin was behind all this. I'll be back later. Damn it, Geralt, it's not a date. You can't keep putting it off. All right. Waiting inside. Well, let's go see what this other guy has to say. Oops. Yorveth awaits you, Duan. Where is he? He forced Triss to teleport them both to Edirn. No! The Scoyatel in Edirn will pay for my stupidity with their lives. Elias, ready the unit to march. You'll leave immediately. That's two days travel on foot. You'll never make it in time. I have a plan. What plan? First, you must agree to help us. I need to know more before I decide. No, Vatgirl. You helped me with Letho. That's the sole reason we're speaking. We may both be pursuing the same son of a bitch, but I haven't forgotten the company you arrived in. Make your choice now. I'll let you go if you refuse. I couldn't do that later. Why Upper Edern? The Pontar Valley is a juicy piece of meat beset by hounds. The Scoyatel bite hardest. It's our land. Our forefather's land. I'm no bandit, Gwynblade. I lead a great army. It sounds like you want to establish an elven state. There is already an elven state. Dolblathana. Francesca Finderbear rules there. Rules? She merely carries out Nilfgaardian orders. We want a truly free state, where an elf could visit a human inn. A land where humans could enter the forest without fear. And you plan to be king? King Yorveth I? I've already told you. I know the head the crown would fit. We merely have to place it there. Whose head is it? One who believes in integrity, honesty, and honor. A person who won't sell out to Nilfgaard for a few florins. A woman named Saskia. Is she your fiancé? Don't mock me, Gwynblade. It sounds like she's more important to you, not just a woman whose head would fit the crown. You'll understand once you meet her. Soon the whole world will hear of the Virgin of Edirn, a woman blessed with extraordinary courage. Has she proven her courage, or is that just talk? 
She defeated a dragon. You said you're going to Burgundy. True. Why go to a dwarven town? Henselt and his army have pitched camp on the right riverbank. The Virgin and a sorceress gather reinforcements to defend Edern. Which sorceress? Philippa Eilhart. What's a Redanian sorceress doing in Edern? Only she can reveal that. What does the leader of an army expect of me? That you accompany me to Edern. Perhaps you'll find your sorceress there. You'll certainly find someone who will soon change the balance of power in the north. Um. There was a massacre in Flotsam. The streets run red with your brethren's blood. I know. That's why I need your help. You want me to murder humans of your side? I wish death upon every one of those Dwan. But that's not the point. Upper Edern is our goal. See, th this dude seems way more balanced than the other guy. Count me in. We'll get Letho together. Excellent. We've no time to lose. We need to capture the prison barge. You want to enter a town where they're massacring elves? I take back what I said. You're not grandiose. You're mad. My mother claimed likewise. <laughs> I like this guy. Okay, well, I guess. Oh, sad face. Oh, I guess because I'm too far into this to do it now. Well, I mean, I I I only found their cocoons like one time, and I killed the a queen, but. Oh. Hey, man, if if quests don't track, I'm not gonna like kill myself trying to find them. It's either trackable or it's not. You know what I mean? And that quest wasn't trackable, so I'm like, well, go screw yourself. I'm not wasting my time for, like, an hour roaming around, like, a map that I don't understand very well. Now, watch. Me trying to go to where I'm going, I'm, I'm going to find the, the other things. I'm going to go, oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, no. We'll not enter the town. We'll divide the unit. Take my best scout and attack from the harbor. I'll sail down river with the others. Most of the guards should be at the trading post. So we're benefiting from the massacre? Not the way I'd put it, but yes. Right. Let's go then. We shall separate on the cliffs. Skoyatal, Evelyan! Vryad! Vryad! Follow me! I sure seem to align with elves a lot in these games. I did the same thing in the last game. to make a decision so
Jump down, damn it. We part here. Enved will lead you down to the port. Roach. Where are they sailing to? I don't know. I have a feeling we'll meet again soon. Let's begin. What's with all the soldiers? Did someone tip them off? We need to warn Jorvik. Skrattel! Or not. <laughs> Onward! <laughs> we should warn them. Ah, never mind. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Probably just a million soldiers. Yeah. All right. Well, here we go. No big deal. No big deal. What was that guy doing? Killing all the homies. Well, I'm assuming I won't be coming back here anytime soon. Oh, I cut his arm off. Didn't I beat this guy in arm wrestling? I think I did. Dude up here, he just sees all these L's and he's just like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Prepared to die. But I'm not prepared to let murder happen. I'm going ashore. Hey. 
Well, how much for that? Commandant loading doors gone mad. Well, he never lied. Yes, slow it. Winter's in the road. Igor? To save the, the the women. How do I uh, how do I save them? I save him. I like that. I don't like their screaming, that's unsettling. All right, ladies, let's go. He's escaped. Gwen Blade! Marino's calling for reinforcements! We must sail! The tower's on fire. We have to jump. Unbind us! I guess I should have saved that one first. The fire is closer to her. Local folk don't hunt him down, someone else will. It's meaningless. You rescued our women. We are indebted. Help me find the Kingslayer and Triss. We'll be even. In that case, to Vergen. Prepare to set sail! Did Vernon Roach sail out of here all right? He's fine, if that's what you ask. We met and chatted. Imagine that. I wanted him to know that he was only leaving because I let him do so. I didn't know I was going to play as this guy. Uh, shit, I don't have any abilities. I'm not a witcher. Oh, I killed him. The Temerian Special Forces. Created by Foltes to combat the Scoyatal after the first war with Nilfgaard. Veterans. Professionals. The best of the best. This is the end, Roach. See these emblems? Temerian lilies. That's all I lack. I've defeated the commanders of all the special forces in the north. Now I shall unite the Scoyatel. Finish what you've started. I shan't kill you, Roach. We Enshe never kill the last specimens of dying breeds. Live on and remember who defeated you. Remember, he can do so again. That failed, Vernon Roach. You're making a mistake, Jorveth. I will find you. Unfurl the mainsail! We made it. This is just the beginning. But you chose the right side, I'm right? pleased. Wish I could be so sure.
The assassin had had his day. Very true. He kidnapped Triss Marigold. It seemed like Fulta's slight had not been enough. It seemed like the killer also wanted the monarch's former advisor. There was no time to think. It was time to act. Grabbing Geralt, I embarked on a voyage upriver, deeper into the Pontar Valley. If the elves could be believed, it was there that free folk from all around had assembled beneath Vergen's banners to resist the Kedweni invader. I should mention the exceptional individuals who made up my fellowship for this important quest. I usually get nervous around Scoyatel. I see them as scoundrels and murderers and find their presence outright unwanted. But I must admit I was glad to have the help of Yorveth and his infamous bunch, who could prove highly helpful. Help... helpful? That's not nice. Highly useful, then. men burned to ashes in minutes i remember the stillness when the news reached vengerberg the palace the streets the houses the, the entire capital cooked in silence the cries the were here every last man i was somewhere beyond that hill in the middle of the massacre what is your intention saskia i intend to stop edden from being sold but we cannot afford a war with henself we must parley leave issues of war to me prince Concentrate on King Henselt. Yarpin Zigrin claims he's short-tempered. Provoke him to strike, and we'll negotiate once the battle's won. I still cannot fathom why the nobles betrayed us. Spit on the nobles, Prince. They've meant nothing since the day my peasant force scattered them on the Dithni. By the good deity Creve, my lord. The girl is a demon incarnate. Firstly, the girl has a name. Secondly, she's the best commander I have. All others have betrayed me. She's a monster. Creed spoke to me in a dream. I saw a snake-like she-demon devour your heritage. Silence, Olcan. We near the meeting place. Okay, finally done with chapter one. Um, it's neat that you can play as other characters in this game. I, I definitely like that, just from like a storytelling element. It makes it a lot more uh, uh, interesting when you can see different perspectives. So that's, that's pretty cool. I, I do enjoy that. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go. I'll see you back for the uh, start of Chapter 2, which uh, does pop off kind of crazy. <laughs> uh, so I'll see you for that. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time.